Hi and welcome to our third video on making your WordPress website responsive with page lines. Um, what we're up to in this part of the video is we're now going to make the website look a little more graphically uh, impressive. So guys like to use graphic designers and that, like to use Photoshop, anything like that can really play around with their bitmaps and a few different with a few different options on this and um, sort of get things looking a little bit more impressive. So I'm just going to head on back into the page lines admin. As you can see here, we're under site options, color control. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background color on this, remove the black, and I'm going to upload an image. Something nice and simple, orange background. As that's uploading, I'm going to set it, we do not want it to repeat, so I'll leave it at that. And the vertical position, this is in percent, so because I want it to start at the top of the page, I'm going to leave it at zero. Um, and you can see this setting is already set. Horizontal position, 50%, so that way drop down and choose a different percentage. That way the center of the image will be in the center of the page. So and we don't want to supersize the background image. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it at that size as a background image on the website. So we'll just uh, save that. And now I'm going to go back to the page and hit refresh. As you can see, we now have a bitmap background on the page. As we scroll down, it runs out, which is obviously the next step. We don't want that to happen. So we go back to the page line settings, and you can see here we have scroll or fixed. It seems to automatically go to scroll, so we're going to change that to fixed. And uh, because our nav bar is looking a little bit funny with the orange on the orange, in my opinion, we're going to save those options. With the fixed setting, I'm going to go back to the nav bar, which is currently playing up, saying it's uploading, which is black. I'm going to save that. I'm going to refresh. This time we have the black nav bar and we have the background, but this time as we scroll, the background stays in place. But now we've got the problem with the footer of the page. The footer is white and sort of looks a little bit funny as we scroll up. It sort of looks like the background ends. So I'm going to change the footer to a different color. So we're going to go back to color control. You see body background there. We're going to make that a bit of a gray color. Save that. Go back and hit refresh. There you can see a bit, more, a bit more professional looking footer with that different colour. Nice black, white and orange sort of layout there, which is uh, yeah, pretty pretty nice looking. Not super impressive, but can be very clean and professional. So, But from there, if I'm looking at that and I'm thinking I don't really want the white content area, I'd rather have a black background with white text. That's pretty easy to achieve. So if we'll go to the content background, we're going to make that black. We're going to make the text white, which I'll just type in easier than choosing the colors and then we're going to save those options what we're also going to do because we have black text in the logo the black text won't show up against the black background so we can go back to website setup and upload an ultimate logo which I have with white text you see there do this one here logo on black Open that. And then we're going to save that setting. So after setting those color settings and uploading a logo which would be suitable against the black background, we can go back, hit refresh. Now we have a black website, white text. You see it looks a little bit different, that sort of thing, but we've still got the general idea, the general effect. And uh, from there, a little bit more of a graphical sort of looking website. Um, you can also have a little bit more of a muck around, maybe change the navigation to a light grey. You can really you can really play around and get you know the basic sort of colours and layout that you want quite easily. Another thing you can do is also remove any content colour, background, that sort of thing. You see the navigation there. We can now sort of tend work with uh, maybe a bitmap background or something to get more of the desired effect that we're after. So if I go back to the 
page lines admin panel again. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that navbar back to black. Can't seem to make up my mind. <laughs> change that back to black. Back to color control. We're going to remove the background altogether. The primary text is showing up black, but with the Fs, that's actually a white color. So I'm going to change that back to black. Or in another case, six zeros. Save those options. Go back to the test site, and what we'll see will probably not look very good, but we'll give you the idea. We now have a website with a completely orange background. Everything is probably a little bit too hard to read. This logo should probably be changed back, so but it gives you an idea of just how easily you can set a background for your website and get it looking very sort of crisp. So what we're going to do, we're going to have things looking a little bit better. And we're going to change that logo back to the original logo. We're going to save that. And this time we can go back into the color control. I'm going to change that background image. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose an image which is more suited to tile across the top of the page. You see here we've just got a basic sort of pattern, that sort of thing. You can make it however you want. This time we want it to repeat horizontally. Once again, we're at the top of the page, centered horizontally. But we do want scroll in this instance. So we're going to leave that on scroll so that way when we scroll down the page it will disappear with the logo. So because the background is a grey, I do want the page background to be the same colour, which I've put aside. And now we're going to save that option. Okay, we head back to the test website and hit refresh. You can see we now have a little grey sort of website and a not, you know, Nice sort of pattern at the top, nothing fantastic, but you can really you can set up a few bars, strips, whatever you think sort of looks good, and sort of get a bit of a get the desired effect relatively easily. One thing you can do is also choose a background maybe the tiles vertically, which also gives you another bit of an idea of how you can play around with it. So we're going to choose this vertical background, upload that, and this time obviously we're going to tile it vertically and we're going to save those options we're going to hit refresh again and now we have a new website layout white background that sort of thing with a more of a vertical sort of layout so that gives you an idea of what you can do with the, just the basic settings of page lines but from there uh, there really is no limit to what you can do with the software um, but these are just the basic settings. If you really want to go further, we will be looking into that in the future, but just to give you an idea, if you have some basic CSS skills, under custom code, you can input any CSS coding you want in there and uh, really sort of put different backgrounds on divs in the, in the website, like you can have a div behind the header, that sort of thing, and really get fully customized the way you want. So that way you can get the basics set up with page lines and then use CSS to really further tweak and get everything exact and looking exactly as you desire. So um, this really is once again just a basic look at that. So if you do have any other questions with this website package, please uh, send me an email or leave a comment on YouTube here or on Facebook, um, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. And uh, don't forget to check out the full write-up we have on our website, www.designwebidentity.com. You'll find all the links down below in the video description. Once again, thanks for watching my video.